So today we have a Roblox game that I have been playing for the past like two weeks that you guys can also play right now. I'll put it in the pinned comment and also in the description below as well as the Discord. This game is called Row Bending, which is obviously based off of Avatar. Now is the game good? That's probably what y'all wanna know. Well, I don't know if it's because Roblox is in the state that it's in right now. Cause Roblox is dead. I just posted a video, Roblox is done. So I don't know if that's the reason, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean, yo, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, no, I, I'm enjoying the game, man. I'm enjoying it. So if y'all want to play it, y'all can play it right now. I'll put that in the pinned comment. But yeah, as of right now in the game, it has every bending action. Yeah, the game has every bending in it right now. So if y'all want to go water, if y'all want to go fire, if y'all want to go wind, if y'all want to go, of course, earth, you can do that. And this game also has all the sub bendings as well. So if you go earth, you have lava and metal. And a lot of y'all are going to want to go lava because lava is powerful. Water has blood, also healing. Ear has flying and spirit. And fire, of course has lightning do not go lightning and combustion and y'all could roll for that whenever y'all hop in the game the game is free so just go for it they drop codes and stuff like that me personally i have two accounts i have one with fire and obviously that's lightning and i have another which i main is wind wind with flying and flying is like one percent so if you guys play the game let me know down in the comments below what do you guys get when y'all spin for the element and what's your sub bending all that but of course you guys make sure y'all subscribe to the channel make sure y'all hit that like button guys because y'all y'all don't be real like some y'all i appreciate those who like the videos without me having to say anything y'all are goaded but y'all don't realize how much that helps so make sure y'all like up the video now there's some things that i want to talk to you guys about this game real quick first of all i'm on my op max level max level is 150 by the way i'm on my max level account but yeah when you hop in game you're gonna be in this area over here right over here and you're gonna have dailies and you're also gonna have yellow quests which are one-time quests that you're gonna need to do all of them if you want to level up and it's actually pretty easy actually i'm not gonna lie the quests are easy until you get to the air temple matter of fact i have a daily quest that i gotta do right now y'all could just see how easy this crap is so we're gonna talk to kirby over here how goes friend you know i never read the dialogue i need a favor i need you to find bushido release date for me ain't bushido that one roblox game that just never released okay so we're gonna find this book and it's always gonna be in the same spot now guys since i have flying i could just do this i don't have to walk i could just do this yep look how much faster that is now i'm pretty sure this quest is the quest that i have to go to where uh i go pick up this book and then i get jumped in the back alley so let's pick up this book real quick and it says i'm max level we're just gonna kill them like right now you guys are probably gonna struggle more so when y'all play this game one thing i like about wind and one of the reasons why i would recommend some of y'all going wind is because it has so many transportations it's got the so there's so many transportation it's like easy to get around with this plus not to mention y'all boys only and only wind users can summon appa or even use appa and ride appa you know this is mine there's different versions you could have like a yellow you could have a red you could have a, a darker blue version setting down game for fixes as you can see they're constantly updating the game but anyways let's finish this quest now obviously i'm not getting any more exp because i'm not like max level but yeah Quests are as easy as that. Now y'all, in this game, there's a few things you could do outside of just doing normal quests in the overworld. Number one, one of the things that you can do and you're gonna be doing a lot to get good items is dungeon. So far, I think there's three dungeons that I'm aware of and that's the Equalist dungeon. You have, this one is, I believe, where you probably get the most EXP. Either that or, or the air temple. But the equalist dungeon is where you have to go in. And this is what I like about the game. In this dungeon, you have to have at least one of every bending type. So you have to have a water, earth, air, and fire. And within the dungeon, they all have to do their part. So fire has to like light candles. Air has to push this stuff out the way. Earth has to carry you across the map to this other area. And water has to put out like fire. Other games should do this. Other games should do that. It makes you feel like you're actually useful makes you feel like you're actually that bending that part of that part of that nation that's pretty cool that's pretty good i'm happy they did that there's also the azula raid which is the fire raid in the fire nation it's more so of a typical dungeon you just go through and fight npcs and then there is the ear raid where you go to the air temple and this one is it's pretty interesting like you there's a puzzle pretty much you have to jump over you know be the leaf yeah but you have to like jump over this ear thingy i don't know how to explain it y'all could just see it for yourself when y'all do it fight npcs of course get to the boss the bosses are pretty the npcs in this game are pretty annoying but yeah now i want to talk about the maps real quick now in my personal opinion i think the city looks pretty pretty me you know off rip if i was to see the city i would have alt that forward and just leave the game and never played it again but the air temple actually looks pretty good and the fire the fire island 
looks pretty good. But the city is, uh, nah, nah. Wait, what the heck? This is my oppa. My oppa just changed color. I think the dev screwed up. I mean, I'm not mad at it. That's an even better blue than I had before. That's not my oppa, is it? I might be stealing someone else's oppa, but hey, man, that's tough. Now, one thing I will say is one of the reasons why I'm having fun on this game, or for me personally, this is, this applies to any game, to be honest, is because I play with other people. If I played by myself, I wouldn't really care for that game. If I played by myself, I wouldn't care for the game as much as I do now. So I'd recommend playing with other, other people. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys this over here. This is the Southern Air Temple. Uh, this is like one of the maps. If you don't have air as you're bending, you're going to be really annoyed here. This island is very annoying. So let's just land real quick to the start of the island down here. This is what I mean. Like the islands in this game are actually pretty good outside the city. So let's go up to the top of the mountain. This is like, this is what I mean. If you don't have flying, it's going to be annoying because it's a lot of climbing and there's a lot of areas that you're not required to have flight because every, every ability in this game has some sort of transportation, but it's annoying to get around if you don't have flight especially since the npcs knock you off the island it gets really annoying matter of fact let's fight some npcs real quick right now all right so let me take out my tornado pull them in push them out on my almighty push these guys are tanky too y'all see what i mean i just got here and i'm ready i just got here bro oh i didn't show y'all this i also have the glider this specific glider is a drop by the way so y'all can't y'all don't start off with this it's a drop you get from out here y'all gonna be so mad when y'all play this game and find out that the npcs aim are on point Okay, okay, let's use the tornado. There's no way I win this fight, by the way. Just wanna, I just wanna put that one out there. There's no way I win this fight. I don't even have all of Ear's abilities yet. I don't have all of Ear abilities yet. Okay, we're, we're just gonna leave now. Anyways, this is my other account right here. This is my fire bending account right over here. How y'all feel about the character's drip, by the way? Let me know down in the comments below. Am I, am I looking cool? Yeah, no, this is my fire bending account. And I actually like, really like how this account looks. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's a few different outfits I have for this. This is actually my favorite one right here in terms of like visual, how it looks visually. But I mean, that's also the weakest armor. I'm supposed to be wearing this one, but this is also the, the lamest looking outfit in my opinion. I mean, it's not that bad. It's all right. But anyways, I'm actually, I actually have lightning. I don't have both lightning abilities, but that's what I'm grinding for right now to get the other lightning ability. But let's use lightning real quick. Look how cool this is. Y'all probably didn't see it. It's not the best angle, but oh shoot. I just hit an NPC. One thing I hate is, and devs, y'all should change this. The whole sky and the entire server should not hear my lightning every single time I spam the ability. It gets annoying, especially if there's multiple lightning users in the server. Y'all should probably change that. Let's use lightning again. And by the way, lightning does crazy damage. And it has crazy range, but a very long, a very long windup. What's cool about lightning is if somebody uses lightning on you and you use lightning at the same time, apparently you could redirect it somewhere else. So I'm, I haven't done that yet. So I don't know exactly how it works. If you take less damage or any damage at all. But yeah, the game has pretty good features like that. Oh, and this is also the Fire Island for those of you who are wondering. It looks pretty good in my opinion. And for anybody wondering, lava is powerful, bro. If I have any lava clips, I'll put it on the screen over here. If I have any clips of lava, I'll just put it on the screen. But if y'all wanna see more on row bending, then let me know down in the comments below. Make sure y'all like this video and subscribe. And you know, if y'all enjoyed the video, then I'll make another one maybe. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.